So here in this case, we are given this data set about the square footage in a house and its selling price in hundreds of dollars. And we are working on studying how to use a straight line to describe the relationship between these two variables and the line that we will use is called the regression line or the line of best fit. So in this case we are going to use summary statistics to obtain equation of the line of best fit and usually or some, some uh, resources uh, use a different format. Uh, we are writing the equation as y equals a plus bx. Okay, or uh, sometimes what we do is since uh, we are looking at this only as uh, uh, only as a predictive equation that uh, just uh, relates to the given data the best, we distinguish this uh, y from the observed y by writing it as y hat. Okay, so the ingredients that we shall need from the summary statistics would be the correlation coefficient, the x mean, the y mean, the standard deviation of the x values, and the standard deviation of the y values. And then here you can see that how the correlation coefficient uh, directly ties up with the slope of the line. Okay, and this one is the y intercept. So Let's go ahead and uh, look at this uh, data that we were uh, working on that how to obtain equation of line best for line of best fit for this data. Okay. So now here we have a computer output from, you know, for the given data set that we were looking at and that you shall have on the uh, web page when I post the video. Okay. Now, let's look for everything that we need. We need the value of R. So, R is uh, right here. Okay. So, this is your correlation coefficient R. Then we need the X mean and the Y mean. And here we have lot more than we need. So, let's just pull out the, pull out the portion that we are actually going to use. So we need the x mean and the y mean, and those guys are right here. So let's bring them over in our notebook, okay? All right, so we have x mean and y mean, and you know, we have appropriate units here, okay? And these are the standard deviation of those, okay? So let's write them down here, okay? And I'm using my whiteboard, whiteboard and you will use your textbook. Okay, so here we have. So now let's compute the slope of the line. So if we do that, let me open up my calculator. So how do we compute the slope? So the slope is, okay, uh, all right, here it comes. Right here, and we just have to do simple calculations. Okay. And uh, that is going to be, okay, uh, we have R. How much is R here? 0.845 times 380.4 divided by 523.7. So that's the value of B, the slope of the line. Okay. Now we want to compute this, the y intercept. Okay. And that would be take the y mean. How much is the y mean? Uh, 1062. Okay. Or $106,200. Uh, $270 actually. Okay. I'm just writing the value from here and then we will write B because that's what we got for B. So what do we do for B? We go to second answer and uh, multiply it by the X value and uh, then 
take 0.9 and this is this y intercept you know the y intercept it uh, does not apply here in this case uh, why because uh, we are not going to you know look at a house with zero square you know with zero square feet of uh, living area in the context of this bunch of values that we are looking at okay so here we go so this is our b and this is a so our equation simply becomes what our equation will simply become uh, let me write it down for you okay and let me erase it and then i'll get or just a second should have only erased these values because i don't like to change the look of the symbols in different fonts okay because that may create problems in your future study of mathematics okay so this is 47.56 all right so i got 40 uh, one moment 40 7 point five six okay we can make it a regular color here all right and uh, there we are okay and the slope is uh, zero point six one three eight so this is zero point six one uh, one moment so here we go 0 0.6138 all right so that's the slope for this equation right or this linear equation let me bring it down oh, one moment okay all right so here we are yeah, pardon my poor drawing here okay so this is our equation okay 47.56 and then plus point six one three eight okay so let's take this equation into our plot okay so here is our scatter plot and here is the line now you know how to graph a line we just need to need two points and actually uh, what happens is that the x mean and y mean if you take that as an ordered pair that will be a point and you can obtain another point and uh, we go ahead and graph the line in the plot so now oh, here we have the line and of course the line doesn't actually pass through all the points uh, in fact uh, out of 117 or so points uh, that we have uh, it's going through hardly a couple okay so anyways and you can see we have an influential observation here here we got you know bunch of points with big residuals here as well we'll come back to that later now look at this say if we were looking at the data without the line all right say this line was not here then you can see the selling price is varying as we change the square feet now in the absence of the line so say we did not have the line then you can see the y values are changing according to the x values right and they are changing in just in terms of their own variability okay now when we have the line or when we have our equation of the line so we have our equation of the line and we have the line here and say we go according to the line then the value value of y of course varies according to the value of x but once we substitute the value of x the value of y is understood okay or explained so there is a very variability in the values of y from their mean and here is the variation in y according to x values when we go along the line so the co the correlation coefficient it helps us understand the proportion or the or actually we can change it to percentage of variation in the y values which will be 
the selling pr price of the house in this case okay as explained by the this line of best fit so here what we have we can compute it by r square times 100 okay and if you recall the summary statistics so the value of the r in the summary statistics was 0.845 so we can simply do this take 0.845 square it and multiply it by 100 because right now we only have a proportion so change it to percentage we multiply it by 100 so what it tells us is that about 71 percent of the variation of the values in the selling price is explained by this line of best fit okay now there is one more feature that uh, we we are looking at which will help us in diagnostics especially when we uh, get to our unit 12 is the residual so residual for a point x y that is if you take a particular point x y in the data set is the observed value of that y minus the predicted value of that y okay and the predicted value we just have a slightly different notation the notation is y hat so this is the value that we have obtained from the line right okay so let me write it here for convenience so this is residual of a point for instance let's go back to our data set okay and uh, let's for instance take at this point or take a, yeah let's take this one i don't know what was wrong in taking that one but let's let's just take this one okay so in here what you have we are looking at the point x y okay which is and these are from the observed values okay so here we go all right so for this point or the residual for this point is residual for is what we have observed the value as uh, what is that 1375 then minus we will write, write the predicted value who gives me the predicted value the equation of the line and all I have to do is what just uh, substitute 18 37 in here and compute the value so uh, what is it so the residual is uh, $19,988 approximately okay because we multiply it by a hundred and uh, you could get it directly from your calculator that is just put 1375 and it's just a matter of typing it in so that you can save time so we have plus 0.6138 then 1837 you have the same value for the residual right okay so now sometimes and if you look at the line or if you look at the equation that we just created i had saved it here say you can see this here that this one is uh, quite far from the line so say we have to identify the points with like largest residual then what we can do is we can compute the residual for this point no and say for this point and you know whichever other point we have we are interested in okay so here is the residual for this one this is the residual here and say we want to see that which one of them is bigger of course we can see it right here that this one is bigger so we want to see say how much is this value so what you can do is you can go back to the data set all right so here by looking at that here we identified the point uh, and the value is 37 
50 and uh, the so this is the x value and that's the y value okay so here we go and we are computing the largest residual okay and uh, so here we are all right so how would we do this for this uh, you can see that 1295 is the uh, is the observed y value and for the x value what i uh, sorry for the predicted y value what we got is we will substitute this in here okay and uh, what we have here is this is about negative uh, what's that negative uh, we have to multiply it by 100 so negative 105,431 dollars okay or in other words what we will have here is so here we are the value of the residual is uh, this and you shall see later when we go into unit 12 that uh, the residuals will decide us uh, a plot of the residuals will help us decide whether the whether something in which we are fitting a straight line has a curved pattern and we shall discuss you know a lot more things there okay so let's uh, stop here at the moment and hope you are able to do your assignment if not let me know i shall answer your questions thanks and just by the way see I, I had all this in excel all these calculations can be obtained by uh, using excel in the following manner you just click on your chart and of course i created this scatter plot by using this scatter then you go to layout you want a trend line and i want a linear trend line and uh, let's go for more options Okay, so where is the trend line here? You can ask it to display the line of best fit and R square. These values might be slightly different from earlier because of the, uh, you know, the difference between round offs very likely. Okay, so here you go. So this is the equation of your line and uh, we will go over the residuals and other matters later on as i said when we are going to take this uh, all these up again in our unit 12 all right okay